Today I will present the right horizontal fragmentation. This is the database I will use to illustrate the, the right horizontal fragmentation. You have is contain four relation. I mean employee, assignment, project and pay and you see here right and I want to emphasize in employee relation I have uh, two kinds of employee the first one is uh, E1 E2 E5 E6 and E8 they are employee with salary bigger than $30,000 and the remaining are E3, E4, E7 are employee with salary less than or equal 30,000 US dollar. Then I go to link. I will show you the owner and the member of a link. A link may be considered as a relationship between two relation and you see here I have a link L1 L2 L3 for each link the shock of the arrow we call the owner of the link and the target of the arrow of the link is a member the owner will be used for selection operation the operation will be used when you may uh, derive horizontal fragmentation. An X link is an, an EQ choice. Right. Now I go to definition of derived horizontal fragmentation. I give a link L where owner of L is a relation S and member of L is a relation R. I define the DHF of R I define as this formula. Remember here is a semi joint. I will give you an example for reviewing the semi joint later. But here you see SI, this one. SI is a selection from S. And as you know, as I will be a prime horizontal fragmentation and Fi is a formula is mean the criteria according to which the PHF SI is defined this one is an example of semi joint I prepare for you you see here you have a two employee relation and department relation and this is the result of semi joint here and you recognize that the hiring and chalks will be deleted because in department you have only sales and production and Sally and Harriet who be kept in the result of semi joint because Sally and Harriet is in sales and in production department this is the examples of semi joy and now I give an example of uh, the right horizontal fragmentation I give you a link L1 as you know the owner of L1 is skill and the member is employee and here skill you have a two primary I mean horizontal fragmentation skill one skill two they are created by using a selection with the previous condition like this and skill one and skill two are primary horizontal fragmentation but when you choose see my choice here we can create a derived horizontal fragmentation and here you after you execute join see my join you have a two partition like this 
this one is a dry horizontal fragmentation and EMV1 contain the employee which is very less than 30,000 and ELB 2s contain the employee with salary bigger than 30,000 as I mentioned when I showed you the database of our system this is the coordinate of DHF you have uh, three property completeness recorrection and designers as I mentioned when I present about how to design a distributed database thank you and goodbye